I'm going to take a picture of the bike in front of these signs that say caution. High pressure gas line. Very apropos, dude. Is that the correct usage of the word apropos? I have no idea. All I can say is if you're going to ride this motorcycle, you better have caution. What's up, you guys? John's Motor Garage. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Today, I have the pleasure of taking a spin on this uh, beautiful 2016 Yamaha FC09, aka MT09. What a rad bike. I cannot get over the look of these. Honestly, one of my favorite looking motorcycles. Today, I want to talk a little bit about just my opinion, of course, an opinion piece on why I think the these style motorcycles, the Street Fighter Naked Bike, you know, whatever you want to call it, FC09, the uh, Z1000 type motorcycles, all the Kawasaki ones, why these are killing off a lot of other types of bikes, such as your super sports. So yeah, just talk a little bit about that. This is just based on my experience on these motorcycles and having ridden a lot of the other different bikes. These have become more and more popular. They sell like freaking hotcakes, especially like the FC07, MT07. The question is why, man? Why so popular? Well, let's talk about it. Super sport sales have been declining year over year. At least that's what they tell me. They just become less popular. I've owned super sports. I've done videos about those motorcycles and I've talked about it before. One of the things that I hate about owning super sports is it just is not fun cruising around city streets or freeways on those bikes because you're constantly feeling like you have to hold back. Top end, you know, they excel on the top end, high RPMs. And so when you're cruising at speed limit speeds, it's just not a fun motorcycle. And then add to that the fact that they're not comfortable, the real aggressive ergonomics, and just all in all, they're crazy bikes. And add on top of that, you always kind of have that that target on your back. Just sitting in a sport bike, it's kind of like driving around in a red sports car, you know? Like, you're just, you're almost guilty just by having the motorcycle. So the first time, the first time I ever rode one of these style motorcycles, the Naked Bike Street Fighter style bikes, it was my buddy's FC07 that he wanted to sell it. He enlisted my help. So I took the bike, I posted it, and I did all the work selling it for him. And I ripped it around the neighborhood and I was like, holy crap, this thing's a freaking blast. It was comfortable, neutral riding position, handled well, had performance. It was like a combination of everything I like. And then the, the cherry on top, it wasn't outrageously priced. It was like brand new under 10,000 bucks. You know what I mean? I was like, dang, that's a lot of bike and it offers quite a bit uh, for the money. So no longer do you have to have five different motorcycles to accomplish what you want to accomplish. Instead, you have one motorcycle that basically checks all the boxes. Anyway, but basically what it comes down to is very simple. Back in the day, if you wanted a certain type of bike, you went out and bought that type of bike. You had your sport bike, super sports. You had your muscle bikes like a Yamaha VMAX, Honda Magna. Crazy in a straight line, handling sucks. They may not be the most comfortable. You had your cruisers, lazy boy on two wheels. You had your Harleys, you had your wannabe metric cruisers. In other words, if you wanted one thing, you had to jeopardize something else, right? You want comfort, you jeopardize performance and handling. You want performance and handling, you jeopardize comfort or sacrifice it. Nowadays, motorcyclists, companies have finally, and you know what? Actually, this may not be true. They've probably been, they've probably pulled this off a long time ago, but just not quite with the appeal that they've accomplished nowadays. But now we finally have a bike that looks rad. It's comfortable, relatively speaking, handles really well, performs really well, offers kind of the best of all worlds. This bike with an inline three, and you get the same out of a lot of your parallel, you know, twins, you get the low end torque. You don't get the same top end that you're gonna get with the Super Sport, but you still get enough top end to where riding around in town at low speeds, not always just breaking the law, you still have an absolute blast and you're not killing your back or your wrist or any of that. You're having fun, but then you can still go hit the twisties or you know the mountain canyons or whatever you wanna do with it as well. Or in my case, you can just jump on and act like an idiot trying to do a wheelie. And then, like I said before, it comes in at a price point that is not terrible you know you're not totally breaking the bank all right now yamaha i don't think they're not the first one obviously not the first one to ever do anything like this but i think they were one of the most successful 
when they came up with the FC07 and it had to do with timing just right place right time and coming out with the right bike before the FC07 they had the FC8 which I don't think did that great FC07 they trimmed the fat they came out with a really fun bike low in torque lightweight small enough to where you can convince a beginner rider even though I don't think the FC07 is a great beginner bike you can convince them to jump on and ride it um, but also enough fun where experienced riders will jump on and think dude it's like a souped up supermoto or anyway um i think with the advent of some of those bikes and the triumph speed triple i think was kind of ahead of its time in that regard we've now finally gotten to a place where we have this offer offering of motorcycles that is unfortunately probably not intentionally killing off your super sports and some of your other motorcycles out there because now at one bike it's a jack of all trades you know you got one bike that's comfortable and and does everything else so that's my two cents that's my opinion piece on how i think bikes like this fc09 mt09 some of these standards are just killing killing off some of their other bikes let me know what you guys think do you agree or disagree what are your thoughts have you ever ridden a motorcycle like this let me know a little below i'm gonna try to have a little bit of fun out here on this abandoned drag strip in the middle of nowhere uh, with this death machine what a stupid stupid idea uh, i'm gonna have to take it easy we'll do some running riding maybe do a top speed run for another video and call it a day so anyway like and subscribe if you dig it appreciate the support you guys we'll catch you on the next one adios nos vemos